This video is going to be an unboxing of the Chris Reeves Menundi that I recently got in S45 VN and the handle inlays are bog oak. So I just I actually just got this knife, so So the first thing that it comes with is it comes with a card with the guarantee and kind of a you know what it is. It's the Nundi in CPM S45 VN with a Rockwell hardness of 60 to 62 for the blade hardness and the inlays are bog oak and this is a new one because it was dated March uh, 23rd 23 of 2023 which is kind of interesting because everywhere that I look for this knife it's out of stock and if you look on Chris Reeves website there's a six-year wait for this knife um, which is why I haven't gotten it yet because I've never really been able to find it so and I'm not waiting six years for a, for a knife so it's just got the card here to send in to register it's got your disassembly instructions which I think is really awesome because most companies if you disassemble the knife you've just voided the voided the warranty uh, Chris Reeves wants you to take it apart and keep it clean and so they provide you the instructions on how to do it and that doesn't void your warranty this just gives a little information about Chris Reeves knives and then a sort of a timeline which stops in 2020 but a timeline of the company so it's all kind of neat um, best part in there is the part oh and a sticker yeah. anyway the best part in there is the fact that they want you to take the knife apart and keep it clean and keep it serviced and that doesn't void the warranty so what else is in this box uh, nice foam inserts comes with an extra an extra screw I don't actually know what that goes to I'll have to look at the instructions and some Chris Reeves grease for the knife kind of neat it comes with a A, pa a leather pouch with to fit the knife in if you want to carry it in your pocket without using the pocket clip uh, think twice cut once which I think is their slogan they're really known for their quality control and just their quality in general so this is really nice it is real leather I think these are like 30 or 35 dollars on blade HQ and then in then the knife comes wrapped up in a cloth like a like a chamois or something has the Chris Reeves logo on it here's what we've we've been waiting for so this is the Menundi which if you read his website in Zulu means very nice like I said I've wanted this knife for a long time I actually wanted the one uh, in the mammoth ivory but I because there, there's different colors of the ivory depending on where they took it out of the tusk but I was never really able to find one of those I, I got lucky and this was actually in a store and it was in a corner of a case next to five next to some red dots pistol red dots and on the other side of it was a whole bunch of microtechs but this was literally in the corner of the case kind of hidden so I don't think anybody even knew it was there and I saw it so I went ahead and picked this up because who knows when you're, I'm gonna see one of these in the wild again right so this is uh, the bog oak inlays and these are inlays this isn't a laminate or anything they've actually cut into the the uh, titanium in the handle and these are actual inlays and this is the third generation of this knife 
so the newest generation. It does have a reversible pocket clip on it. I don't know if this is focusing very well. And the this used to be just a nick, a thumb nick. Now it goes all the way through. So you can, you can more easily open it with one hand. So open up the blade. So this is in, so this used to be in Chris Reeves S35 VN. Now it's sit, now this one is in S45 VN. I think it's sandblasted, but this is polished really well. I don't know if you can see the polish on the actual blade itself. It's pretty sharp. Single-sided pivot with the Chris Reeves logo on the other side. It is a liner lock. Let's check the lock up. It's a little less than 50% on the lock up, so this is a good lock up. Let's check the centering. I don't know if this is showing up. I'm trying to get this in the camera correctly. This is centered perfectly. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera very well. Actually, it looks like it's off the side there. Now I'm holding it right. Uh, this, oh, that's because the camera lens is over here. All right, this is, <laughs> this is centered perfectly, which for the price, I wouldn't expect anything less and for the quality that Chris Reeves is known for. This is my only Chris Reeves knife. I'm going to be honest, not the other knives that he has that, that are out there don't necessarily appeal to me um, a, a whole lot, at least, right? So the Sabenza never really, never really appealed to me, but that's just, that's just me. I'm sure they're fabulous knives. Um, I held one and, and I, but this, this is... This is a this is an actually a beautiful knife. It's very small though. I think the blade is. Let's see what does it say the blade is. I'm gonna look this up on my phone. The blade is uh, is two point two point seven five inches. So it's a, it's a small blade. So if you're in a jurisdiction that you have to have a blade under three inches, this will fit the bill if, if you can find one. Like I said, literally the site says these are back ordered for six years, um, which, which I think is incredible that they're back ordered that far. Um, I'm gonna do a, compa a quick comparison. I, I could talk about this knife for a while because I think it's, the craftsmanship on this knife is, is excellent. Lockup is perfect. There's no blade play whatsoever. It is easy to open one-handed and close one-handed, right? So if you want to open and close it one-handed, you can definitely do that. This is also a knife that if you go into an office environment or you're sitting in a restaurant somewhere, a cafeteria, for instance, and you pull this knife out, this doesn't look murdery or tactical, so you're less likely to send all the Karens that are sitting in the table next to you running for cover, right? So this is this is just a really beautiful knife. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the size to some other knives that are, you know, everybody probably has seen before. So my standard carry every day recently has been the Benchmade uh, Bug Out. This is the, the one with the aluminum scales and M390, so Bowler M390 steel. So as you can see, this knife is smaller than your standard bug out. And I don't I don't have the mini bug out, so I don't know if I'll be able to find a knife this small. I don't have a whole lot of really, really tiny knives. Um, let's see another knife that to compare it to that people have probably seen is the micro the Microtech SOCOM Elite. 
obviously this dwarfs the uh, dwarfs some an undie. Um, everybody's probably got a pair of two somewhere. So here's the pair of two, and this is the one with the with the blurple scales and the S1 10V blade. So you'll see that the blade is a lot smaller here as well. And then last but not least, I dug this up. This is a this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Benchmade Stimulus with the chalky feeling handle and it's an automatic. And this is actually some Mel Pardue model and it is in 150 cm. So this is an older knife and the blade here is still a little bit bigger, but this is getting kind of close. But if you look, the blade is just a little bit bigger, but look at the handle. Uh, the Menundi has a much better handle to blade ratio than this Benchmade. In fact, I think it has a much better handle to blade ratio than any of the knives that I've shown so far. So, my thoughts after wanting this knife for a long time and finally holding it in my hand, I probably won't be cutting carpet or anything like this with this knife or uh, feed bags open on the at the deer club to dump corn out. I probably won't be using this knife for that. So anyway, I just wanted everybody to see this knife and if you do get a chance to pick this up, uh, oh, the, they come in multiple different, if, if I go on the Chris Reeves site now, and I know that there's there's special ones for different knife dealers like Blade HQ and um, other, other knife dealers have special ones of these out, but they're all out of stock, so good luck finding any of those. If I go to the Chris Reeves site, they actually only show three. They show the inlays for the Box Elder Burl and the Macassar Ebony. And all and both of those are, are nice looking as well. The Box Elder Burl is, looks a lot lighter than this, but um, I'm kind of glad that I was able to find this version of it because just what for what uh, bog bog oak actually is right so bog oak is a wood that's in the beginning stages of being petrified and it was this could be hundreds of years old submerged in a peat bog somewhere or this could be thousands of years old um, so it's interesting to think about all of the places that this piece of wood all of all the things that this piece of wood might have seen or how long it's been sitting in the same place before it finally got to this knife that got to my safe. <laughs> I was gonna say that got to my pocket, but right now this is just gonna sit in the safe for me to play with every now and then. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. And if you do get a chance to pick this knife up and a smaller knife like this kind of speaks to you, I, I highly recommend this knife. It's even nicer than I thought it would be actually. So if you want to see more knife reviews on my channel, I know normally I'm doing hunting and hunting equipment, outdoor equipment and gun reviews, but most gun guys and gals are also into uh, to knives as well. So if you're interested in seeing more knife reviews, please like and subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful rest of your day.